Greg Maldonado once eloquently said that poi is sort of the lingua franca of circus arts or, or flow arts. Um, there's just, just something really primal and fluid about it. Whereas instead of equilibristic arts like contact juggling or balancing props or juggling or balancing yourself, um, which are maybe a little more precision focused and there's all these moments where if you're tossing something in the air, you have a moment of control and it's up in the air and you're, you're playing with all these moments of control. Poi is a little softer and more dynamic than that. On one hand, it's sort of easier because you've just you've got these things tethered to you, and it's like they're a very direct extension of your body once you've played with them for a while. I mean, literally, any physical object you work with for a while, you're you're starting to map that in your motor cortex and your somatosensory cortex, where you you literally, even though you don't have nerves in that prop. You, you interpolate and sort of feel what it's doing as an extension of you. Um, so I, I think because you have that more intimate, direct connection with them, and it's sort of like you're you're moving this extension of yourself around your body in your physical space, rather than having to toss, catch, toss, catch all the time in these precise moments. It, it's just. I feel like that's a lot more immediately, intuitively approachable for the average person, and it, they can more immediately delve into finding their own exploration of that, rather than having to drill, like, I must learn a three ball cascade, I must learn this, this, that, and the other. It's a little more wide open for a variety of people to find an entry to, and then get together with the, the group and, and uh, pass what they're doing around and share it. Um, I, I find, Poi to be one of the most sort of, as far as physical arts go, that I've been privy to. It's one of the most sort of open source mentality arts. And I mean, I've watched it, ha having done it for like, you know, 11, 12 years now, I really watched the acceleration curve go from popping around the country and meeting these little closed bubbles that were vaguely aware of each other to home of Poi and Spiritualism and Tribe.net and more global connectivity over the internet to by the time we have decent streaming video and a way of really talking about it and showing it, I've just watched this acceleration explode in the innovation and how quickly people learn it. I mean, I, like I, I see kids learn in six months stuff that, you know, took me years and years and years to discover and it's all because we've crowdsourced developing both the technique, the you know, mental exploration, the conscious exploration of what we're experiencing and how to convey that, how to teach it. And that's out there in the, the Poi community's collective consciousness now where it's just popping up new people and their new contributions are skyrocketing. And uh, curious to see what the next couple of years <laughs> bring.